Here we go on another cruise adventure. It's Christy. This is embarkation day of our seven day MSC Seaside cruise. Yes. Our first time ever on this cruise line. And we are in Orlando right now. We spent the night after flying in yesterday and we have to drive to Port Canaveral today. Yes. So a uh, quick update on MSC. We've had some challenges. We're hoping that they've been resolved beforehand, getting our birthdays right, little things like that. Yeah, and the check-in process has not been easy. So we're not quite sure what's ahead of us when we go to do that. Yeah, we did get an email this morning. We put a bid in for an upgrade to the Yacht Club and we didn't get it. So we're gonna have an old fashioned balcony cabin. Yeah. So we're happy to have a balcony though. Right. Looks like a beautiful ship and we are gonna hit the highway. The next time you're gonna be talking to us, we hopefully will be in the cruise port with an update and about to get on the ship. Yeah, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Wish Cross us luck. your fingers for us, guys. <laughs> we'll see you there. We are here in the terminal now. We just went through security. I think we're one of the first ones here, but I see a lot of people in front of me, so maybe we're not. <laughs> I was hopeful thinking. So, so far so good. We had to show our passport and our boarding pass to get in. And uh, now we try the next part. Well, they just announced it is two minutes after 11 and they just announced diamond and gold level people to board so we are boarding yeah we didn't uh, expect that from having the gold status so that was really nice there's the seaside first glimpses I'm getting closer oh now i can see it better Ooh, that's a big ship a little mrs canuck a little msc sign coming right over side well, we are doing the gangway thing again. And really good timing. What are we, let me see here. 11.07 and we are on the gangway to walk on the ship. It's amazing. Yep. They are really efficient. We weren't supposed to get on till noon. There we are. Come on. First steps on the seaside. We are here, but we are stuck. <laughs> I can almost see inside. And scanning the keys. Okay, so we are here. You can see here we have to put our credit card information, put it in the little slot. We've been approved, so you have to do this as soon as you get on. So then it tells you that you've been successful. Hi, welcome to MSC Seaside. Yes, and be sure to watch this video for a hidden letter and watch all seven days of this cruise and add all those letters to create the secret word. So we are pleased to announce that Level 8 has partnered with us to sponsor this contest. So let's get looking for that letter. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Our first elevator ride. Here you go. Up we go. Oh, we didn't go very far. <laughs> we were on deck six. We're lost why already. I, that's why I was wondering why you were like, we're trying to find. We're this, trying to find a buffet, so let's see if we can find one. The doors are closed on this right one, though. We just heard that they're letting us to our cabins immediately as soon as we get on. So we're going to drop off some of our luggage. And then the buffet opens in about 15 minutes. We're too early for the food already. So our cabin is down here somewhere. Feel free to speak with any of our crew members. Here we go. Holy cow. Our luggage is here at 11.15 in the morning. You can visit wow. the South Beach Bar <laughs> okay. on Deck 7 at the back of the ship as well as the Miami Beach Bar okay, on Okay, let's go see what we got. Okay, let's take a quick look at our stateroom for this week on the seaside. 
Mrs. Canuck is already in here. Welcome everyone. Yeah, we just arrived here and it's quarter after 11 and all of our luggage was waiting at the door for us. We couldn't believe that. <laughs> luggage was already here. Fastest delivery we've ever had of luggage. Our luggage beat us. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So maybe I'll peek in the, the bathroom? bathroom first. Sure. We, I haven't even looked in here to see what's no, in here. No, I haven't either. <gasps> there's actually a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. Oh, and there's a me. There's a you. Yeah. And I'll turn around. And there's a glassed in shower right here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've got a little product on the wall and it'll do the job. No shower curtain. That's the good news. Yay. Hi, I'm on a cruise. <laughs> and the rest of the cabin. Let's oh, here's our in. little settee for, we arrived, there was no key in the door, but our air conditioner feels like it's working. So that must mean that it keeps working. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So we've got like a it. big sofa. Yeah. With my backpack sitting on there because we haven't unpacked anything. No, we just got in. We could unpack now before even lunch and be done for today. We could, for sure. So we've got a big, huge mirror. You yeah. can see multiple Mrs. Canucks right now. <laughs> oh no. And there's a bed as well. Mm -hmm. And we have the type of cabin we have. I don't know if you can tell yet, but it is a balcony this time. Ooh, we had an inside on our Alaska trip and now we have a balcony. Let's go out and explore balcony. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's quiet. That'll wake Ooh. up the neighbors if you get out <laughs> at six in the morning. <laughs> That'll wake you up when I get up early and do some balcony footage. And here's our balcony. So yeah, we've got Hi Discovery. Two chairs, we got a little footstool. Looks like we're right over top of some outdoor eating area. Oh yeah. So the buffet is the buffet. below us. Yeah, there's some seats right below us there. Yeah. Cool. On deck eight. Oh Discovery, Hi, we miss you already. We miss you. Where's the glass house? It's right there in the distance. Mm. Oh, but we're trying a new adventure. We can always go back to that ship one day. Hi Lois, hope you guys are having a great time over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> a couple little things that people always want to know about. So there is a USB port by one side of the bed with the night light, but I didn't see it on the other side. Let me double check that. No, so just the light switch over here. And then we go over to the desk here that we have we have two of our north american plugs and a couple usbs as well and there's a couple european plugs right. old school phone tv not a huge tv there i am again but uh it yeah we don't we don't usually cruise to watch much tv no and looking at some of the details in here we do have a safe in the closet and then we have a haven't got it open yet we have luggage in the way mm. some hangers some area to hang up some dresses the mini bar is locked Oh, that's locked. We can't get in there. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't have any access to minibar. Mm -hmm. And we do have an ice bucket and a full length mirror. There's lots of mirrors in here. Yeah, there is. But yeah, classy room I would describe it as. For sure. Yeah, I really like the decor. Yeah. The only thing is, I will say, is that looks pretty worn out to me. The, <laughs> the sofa definitely needs to be reupholstered. Okay, time to do unpacking because we can do so right before we go for lunch. That'll be the first time we've ever done that. I can get multiple views of you in the staircase. Head into the buffet. Our first try at MSC food. We have heard about the pizza at MSC. I'm gonna give some a try. Okay, we are starting with a plate full of pizza. But the first drinks of the cruise are coming just right now. Perfect. Thank you. A little bit of wine. And perfect. Heineken. Thank you very much. Thanks. Ooh, look at the dew on that. Okay, nice. yeah. here we are. We are in the buffet at the seaside. And our first drink of the cruise. So cheers to the first case on seaside. So yeah, we found some additional food down away from the burgers and pizza. We've got some potatoes and chicken with a beef stroganoff. Looks delicious. It looks delicious. A little bit of chicken and a little bit of other stuff right here. So see what we can find down the way. This is the ethnic table. We got some other food here. Okay, we have found the good stuff now. Chocolate eclairs. Welcome aboard. There you go. Welcome aboard cake right there. Oh, this looks a carrot cake, hun. Oh, fruit, vegetables. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. We are at the charcuterie station. It looks like, at least Look that's it. my name for it. Yeah, some prosciutto, Spanish arugula. Now this is a lot of what I expected on MSC with stuff like this, yeah. Some liver chicken pate. 
Ooh, carbs. We've been without carbs for six weeks. Oh. Ooh. Oh, fruit. Nice. Look it. Are we allowed in here? Kids only. Am I too big? Let's go see Miss Smith where the chicken nuggets are. Hold on. <laughs> I have a suspicion. Let's see. Can we find chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets, where There's are you? Pasta, mashed potatoes. Some pasta. Cheese quesadillas. Quesadillas, some little tiny ooh, little that looks mini like, beef burgers. They look like little meatballs, but they go in the little tiny buns. Cool. That's cute. I may have to have some of that. The kids line. Oh, well, that's God. beef. Ooh. Oh. Oh. But this looks good. Uh oh. I think I found my where, where I live this week, everybody. It Look at like I found the crepe station. Look, that's something I've never found before. A bruschetta station. This has my this attention. So yeah, we're learning that if you bypass the burger and pizza place and walk further into the buffet, there is nobody here. It's just kind of us just poking around with a couple other people. So that's the way to find the food. Get away from the burgers and the pizza. Mrs. Kanak is trying this rolled up looking I'm fish. Trying it all. What, what yeah. kind of fish is it? Do we know? Yeah, it says it is white uh, fish. White fish stuffed with spinach and smoked pogolon cheese. Mm. Okay, hopefully you can hear me over some of the announcements. But went back up and grabbed more after some pizza. And got some beef stroganoff, we got a little bit of rice, a couple different types of pasta, some healthy watermelon. And over here... I did a little beef ravioli, a little provolone and cheese, or I mean, um, prosecco, prosciutto, some chicken, and beef stroganoff. First impressions of MSC food and buffet? Lots of selection, like so many things I wanted to try that I'm already overeating, so great selection everything was really nice that we had i was really impressed of course they're known for their pizza i, I loved the pizza I tried a bunch of different things here all very good lots of selection is what i'll say a very large buffet yeah i would agree i would say that one of the favorite things i have about buffets is my chance to sample a whole bunch of different things there's a lot of different things on this buffet but different good things so i've been trying bits and pieces here and there it's not the same old, same old, so it's a little more variety. All kinds of different tastes and flavors and food types for different palates. So, so far, really impressed with the MSC Seaside food, which is good, because that was one of the things that we were a little worried about, we've heard about, but so far, so good. So, hopefully it continues the main dining room tonight. This is Kanaka's off to get more food, if you believe it. Something tells me she may be going to get one of those crepes that we saw just a while ago. What did you find now? I went to the crepe station. They give you a crepe and you have your options to put whatever topping, sauces, or fruit you want on it. So I did a caramel and banana. That was my choice. Look what I have found. Fresh plums on a cruise ship. Yeah, they're actually ripe and really delicious. I don't think I've ever seen plums anywhere on a cruise ship. It's hard to find fresh plums anywhere that are properly ripened, so. Yeah, where we live anyway. Mm -hmm. So, delicious, good option. And I might have got some bad stuff too. Ooh. We're gonna go explore outside and see what it looks like here. There you go. How do we get to that pool? Like right now. Just go down one level. That's the level we're on. We live on deck eight. Yeah. Or deck nine, I mean. Nine. No. Are we up one? Yeah, we're up. This is eight. That's, That's deck seven. That's two away from where we are. A lot of smoking back here though. Oh, smoking, only smoking, but here we are. And over there is the Morella Discovery. This is an outside eating area for the buffet. It looks like kind of a spillover area. It's nicely shaded actually. We could have made it out here, but really nice. Okay, we came down a deck and we found what looks like, what is this? Is this a bar? No? Garage. This is the uh, gelato and creperie. Oh, there's the answer. We are learning so much and we are finding out that that looks delicious. My goodness, is there an upcharge or is that for yes. me? Yes, no, there is a, two, oh, a fee for this. That's probably a good thing because I would have gained sure. back all the 18 pounds I lost before this cruise. South Look. Beach Pool is what this is called. That lady has quite the figure. Check her out. <laughs> Ooh, that's huh. warm water. Very I'll warm. I'll get the two ladies in the view. <laughs> two. <laughs> there we go. We just came inside from that aft pool and I don't know where we are, but we are at some kind of a bill, we are billiards in the billiards table. Room. The game room on the side here. There's some music cranked up down the hall here. Oh, it looks like we're some kind of a main atrium. Is this called the Haven? Yeah, this is the Haven Bar and Club. Oh, this is the club right here. They already got the tunes going. 
Nobody's dancing yet, though. You just have to dance your whole way through this cruise. <laughs> I do. I already like the little bits of music, upbeat music I've heard in the ship. It is nicely international. There we go. We are here. They've got these touch screens throughout the ship. You can figure out where you are, which is going to be very helpful for us because I have absolutely no idea where I am. All I know is that I'm on the MSCC side. I had some delicious lunch. That the tunes are great, as you hear going in the background. And that we are in search of our dining room, I think, next. Ooh, I think we're at the infamous staircase. Oh my gosh. This a little bit Oh, look here. at these stairs. I may have to show your feet. Oh, it'd be better with the silver shoes on. Ooh. Swarovski crystals. We'll do a little atrium view. First time in the atrium. It looks crazy here. We've been in the quiet part of the ship, obviously. All the way up. Quite the atrium. Okay, we hear that this is the dining room that we are assigned to. So we're gonna go see where our table is. Here we go, we are in the main dining room. Nobody's here now, but us taking some pictures. <laughs> okay, so we were turned away at the dining room. We tried to get in there to see our table, but there was three officers having a meeting at a table. So they said nobody was allowed in while they were having a meeting and to come back in 10 minutes. So we're gonna do some more exploring. And more exploring obviously means going to look at chocolate. <laughs> Ooh. Here's our table for dinner tonight. We are next to the big sculpture. We don't have chairs, but at least we have a table for two. We have a table. <laughs> we just eat like this. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get chairs by tonight. Things are changing on the fly. We'll have to bring you up to speed when we get back somewhere stable. So it looks like there are three different drink packages. The Easy, the Easy Plus, and the Premium. We found a paper menu at the bar here. With the easy package and looks like everything's all there and we're here at the h a little bit of a mojito to start for somebody Cheers. this is kanaka's found the champagne bar <laughs> there's nothing at this bar covered in our drink package oh our drink package doesn't cover this no uh oh, Mrs. Canuck's losing my key. See that? Maybe I should carry them. Mm, yeah, Here we are. Right. Back to our cabin. Hello, Port Canaveral. We are up here on deck 16, exploring. You see there's some balconies there that poke out. Lots of sunshine, some sitting area. I think that's where, down where the buffet was that we were at. See, there's some kind of wires going there. I think they got some zip lining set up. And over there is Wonder of the Seas, way off in the distance. World's biggest cruise ship is here in Port Moody. Going by the hot tub. Had all my swimsuit yet, though, to get in, but nobody's actually in the hot tub. It's kind of neat. But it is hot out here. I don't think I need a hot tub to get my chatter. Oh, the Bridge of Sides is coming up. I've heard about this. And this is the bridge. And there's the view down from the bridge. At least if you fall, you land in the swimming pool. Okay, here we go. I'm going across the bridge of size. No problem. Here we go. I survived. The secret is not to look down.
are exploring inside. We found all the specialty dining. We found the butcher's cut, which is their steakhouse. All kinds of wine. So they have the seafood here, a steakhouse one, some kind of a, I think it's an Asian fusion one. There's tapenaki. Yeah. And they have special dining packages, but we have heard that if you book those special dining packages, you don't get the full menu options. You get a set menu that you can choose from. So as a result, we're not sure we're going to do that because it's pricey to have a limited menu compared to other cruise ships. And of course, we've got this big octopus in the seafood restaurant. Look who I found right here. Probably the greatest quarterback that never won a Super Bowl. <laughs> we found Dan Marino. <laughs> and we found this little booth right here. It's a cute little spot, isn't it? Neat little spot if you were to watching, waiting to watch a sporting event. Think we can watch the love boat here? I <laughs> <laughs> don't know that they have that on. Okay, this ship is just full of Dan Marino. Check out, there's his jersey even. Oh, another view of the atrium, way up top here. See, there's a huge bar down there. The crystal staircases on both sides. Ooh, I think we have found the theater in our exploring around the ship. I'm still very lost, but we're getting there. We're figuring it out. First images of the MS Seaside Theater. We are in the casino. I think we can film it now because it's not open. But yeah, a rather colorful, classy casino, I guess I'd say. <laughs> oh, I got shut out. Turn the camera on. <laughs> I didn't realize. You're one step behind me. Well, we are doing something you don't get to see us do too often. Mm -hmm. No kidding. We didn't have a balcony the last couple of cruises. I think last time we were on a balcony was March on New Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, and so we're just sitting here actually at port, having a balcony day, waiting for what could be an insane muster drill. Right, yeah. We're supposed to all on the entire ship watch the same video at the same time on TV. And at the same time, we're all going to all some flood into the crowds and head off to our muster station. So, curious to see how that works. But otherwise, there have been some very interesting things on board. Um, some interesting and odd. Some things good. So... First impressions of food was good, so that's always a big one for me. Uh, insane internet prices, like insane. Like, uh, for example, if you had four people all with their own device connected to the internet on here, in Canadian dollars would be a thousand dollars. Imagine that, a thousand dollars Canadian to have internet for a week for a family of four. And a few other things, I don't know, maybe I'll turn it to Mrs. Connect to see if she has anything to add to that, so. She's been having more drinks than me so far, so maybe she's going to comment on the bar service too. Well, I haven't had an issue with bar service. I heard a lot of people say it was hard to get a bar tender or, or service, and so to order two drinks when you did, but we, I haven't found that yet today. I went down to the bar a little while ago to get a drink, and it was packed full, and I thought, oh, I'll be here a long time now. But I really wasn't. Within five minutes, someone came and took my order, and I had a drink within a minute or two after that, so it was great. Um, yeah, no, the only thing that sort of got me going, you know me, I brought a lot of dresses, ladies, and uh, there wasn't even enough hangers in the closet for Mr. Canuck's dress shirts. So I am hopefully going to try to get some hangers from our cabin guy, but we have not seen anybody this afternoon, and I've tried to call. So hoping, hoping I can get hangers. Closet space is very tight for the amount of clothes that I pack, for sure. <laughs> And another odd thing we found is the bar fridge that is in our room is locked. Like we cannot even get in to open the door to the fridge. So in other words, we have a bottle of water or a can of soda pop. Uh, we can't even put it in the fridge or we had brought, of course, some chocolate. We can't put that in the fridge either because the door is actually locked to the bar fridge, which is kind of strange. So we're going to inquire about that as well. Holy yeah, it's been some strange things. Overall design of the ship, uh, it's so brand new, it's hard to really say. It feels really broken up and all over the place, but that could just be me, because we're just been bouncing around trying to figure it out. So I'm sure we'll learn more in the days ahead. So anyways, I think we're about five or ten minutes away from this mustard drill, and I'm going to show you what this is all about, because I'm curious myself to see how this works. TV will begin in five minutes. Please tune your televisions to channel number six. Participation is mandatory for all guests that embark today. So you just heard the announcement there. 
and we heard about 10 minutes ago around 4 o'clock that it was going to start at 4.15 and that we were going to have to watch the safety video. I turned on the TV thing, maybe I can watch it now instead of waiting, and I could, but I don't think it counts for anything. Somehow they make you watch it exactly at 4.15, so you just heard the announcement, and I've got it on the right channel, and I think we watch this, and then go to our muster. So, we're learning as we go. Well, we got some hangers. Oh, Loud thank tone. you! <laughs> it has started. Five minutes to learn these procedures. So I have to go watch the video. Safety first, right? Where are we going? I don't know. We're going two decks down to our muster station. One more? One more down this way. Look! There you are in the mirror. Okay, down to our muster. We'll see what happens next. We are done our mustering already. Now that wasn't the magic of editing. It was that fast. It was very fast. Yeah. Yeah. So I came in after our video. I dialed 881 on the phone. We had to go down two levels and have our card scanned. And that was it. We are done mustering. It was very painless, actually. Yeah, it was very easy. Yeah, as but... easy as it's been on any other cruise line, except the weird having to dial a number thing. So, mm -hmm. all done. Now we can get on with the sail away. Oh, this is what it looks like to walk down a hall of an MSC ship. Actually, it feels a little darker than most. Is it just yeah. me? Yeah. No, like it going, is, no it's true. It is darker. In and out of areas that are dark, like right now. I'm not sure and if it's now. like the burgundy no. carpet, but yeah, it is dark no. up here too. No. Look who I caught back at the pizza place again. Mrs. Canuck getting more pizza. It's not even dinner time. She doesn't know I'm filming her right now. She'll be very upset when she finds out. So it turns out this pizza place and the grill on the other side are open all day long when the rest of the buffet is closed. So that's handy if you want a snack like right now. More pizza for you? Don't film it. What's going on here? Don't film it. Look at all those carbs. Oh. Okay, we are done with deck party. And Mrs. Canuck is running away again. Can't keep up with her. Mm, I'm here. <laughs> she wore me out with all that dancing and now she's taking off. Yeah, this That's is our ours. room. I'm like, wait a minute. I think this is it. We're here. Good evening. Hi everybody, we are done with deck party and we're heading out for, we're gonna try a little bit of music and maybe a drink. Before dinner, we have early dining at 7.15. Yeah, not really early let, let for that, us. Let that sink in for a second. Early dining, 7.15. Let's turn really a couple hours later than what we normally would eat, so. Yeah, and that is almost late dining for a lot of ships. So we're kind of surprised, but late dining is 9.30. Yeah, so we're quite happy that we got 7.15. Because 8 or 9.30 having a dinner would be way too late for us. <laughs> So we are getting settled in, still learning the ship, yeah. and uh, yeah, we'll see what tonight brings. Still fighting a little bit of kind of, you know, feels a little warm around the ship, a little 
humid and damp, rooms that have carpets kind of feel really musty. Like, so it's almost like the air conditioning isn't on enough. That's what it feels like. Yeah, we're hoping that now that we've set sail and the door is open, or I mean closed from everybody embarking, that maybe the air conditioning can work a little bit better in the general main areas of the ship. But the, definitely the atrium was very humid, musty sort of today. For sure. So we'll give it a try and uh, try main dining room tonight is the plan. Mm -hmm. So let's go and find out what MSC has to offer tonight. Let's do it. We are off. We are. You can see we're leaving a card in here to see if we can get this air conditioning working all the time. And it's this room, so if we're breaking the rules, that's who's doing it. <laughs> Those cruising Canucks. So off we go. I think we're heading to the Haven Lounge is the plan. Down on deck six, maybe seven. Lots of mirrors in these stairs, by the way. We are here at the Haven Lounge. And it's supposed to be a band playing in the next ten minutes or so. Mrs. Canuck has tried to go to get a drink. Okay, we're in the dining room after some chaos. We are in the dining room and a little pro tip, please, if you're going on the MSC cruise, check out where your table is before you go to the main dining room at night because there are thousands of people out there that can't figure out where their table is and because we knew where ours were, we were able to come here and sit down right away and beat the line. And we have bread. That's Ooh, the big news. We have exciting. some bread already. Yes. And a couple pieces of butter that, that will barely do for Mrs. Canuck. Ooh, well, that's going to be a challenge. And looking at the menu, trying to decide what to have. Whoa, that was a close menu. That was menu. close. <laughs> uh, no to the ceviche for me. No to the Spanish delights. Uh, maybe chicken croquettes or tomato soup. Chef selection tonight is chicken what? and waffles. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. As an appetizer or a no, main? No, that's a main. A main. Oh, wow. And entrees. I'm not sure yet what I'm for an entree. It's going to be tough. I don't like calamari. Lasagna feels heavy. Some grouper, prime rib. So many options. What do you think you're having? I think I'm going to do the ceviche to start and prime rib perhaps. Prime rib? Although calamari is a main. What does that say? Calamari was salad, what? Salad, yeah. Sal a calamari salad? So, yeah, we'll have to see what not we come up do, with. I'm not going to do a salad. I've been doing salads for weeks, guys. Okay, our appetizers came out, and it probably wasn't even two minutes. No, it was very fast. Didn't even have time to get some bread butter. That's how fast yeah. it was. So this is the tomato cream soup that I ordered. And, and I'm having scallop ceviche. So I did it again. I ordered two appetizers. So these are the chicken croquettes. They look very interesting. I can't wait to dive into these. And Mrs. Canuck not having a second appetizer. She's behaving. Okay, dinner has arrived. I went with the chicken and waffles. Ooh. Ooh, I'm not sure how European that is, but. <laughs> I went with the prime rib. There's some broccoli and a baked potato there. Okay, dessert has arrived. I'm having the New York cheesecake with some strawberry. And I went with the apple crumble, the little vanilla ice cream. Very good first dinner experience. I had a scallop ceviche, very tasty, delicious. Prime rib for my main course, delicious, very good job. I thought it was a great first dining experience. How about you, hun? So I had two starters and they were both good. I wouldn't say they were great, it wasn't the best soup, but it was good soup. And the chicken croquettes were different than what I expected, but I really didn't know what I was going to get, so it was kind of a roll of the dice. And I had chicken and waffles. It was good. It had a really interesting, it was almost like a spicy maple syrup sauce on the waffle, which was kind of interesting and caught me off guard, but all in all, good. The cheesecake was really good. And uh, yeah, so all in all, the, the fear of uh, MSC Cruise is 
not playing out. I thought it was a good good start to the week. I would just add to that and say that we had Carlos and Mark as our servers, and the service was phenomenal in the main dining room. So we had a great experience. Guess what I found? Bar snacks. Look at that. I might be back at this bar every night if I come here and get some potato chips. We've had peanuts before the bar. What else have we had? Other different types of snacks, but I don't think I've ever had potato chip snacks. Okay, we're just sitting at a bit of a bar off to the side of the main atrium waiting to go to the show, the main theater. They're doing a variety show tonight, but I just wanted to show you that despite how busy it was earlier today, you can see here nice and quiet, lots of chairs available. We're just kind of up against the window here looking out at the ocean. So yeah, this is what we was kind of hoping for. We saw this afternoon, we thought the, the success, the secret of having a good time on this cruise might be just finding those little cozy corners, listening to music and having a drink. So, so far we've been able to do that on two different lounges. So things are looking up. The long tunnel into the theater this time. We came up from the top last time. This is Canucks dress tonight is green, but half length and very high slit at the front. So we can't show you that part. <laughs> It's a wrap around. <laughs> a wrap around. <laughs> That's what they call it. We are in the main theater, but we're not allowed to record the show. No, so we can't. We'll tell you what it's like afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's very cold in here. Even yes. for me. <laughs> the air conditioning is working in the main theater. It's working guys. now. Check these seats out. Every other back is high, and every other one is low. It's kind of the strangest seating I've seen in a theater. Get ready, everybody. Please give it up for the amazing other entertainment team. Inviting you all tonight for the glow party taking place in the South Beach at 11 o'clock. We are going to be partying all the early hour of the morning. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> Cabin, cruising connects. In we go. That's it. Good night. The end of day one on MSC? Yeah, we had a, a very good day, actually. First of all, 11.15 were on the ship. Like, amazing. And they said, you can go to your cabin and drop off your personal stuff, but don't stay there because the cabin might not be ready. So we come in at 11.15, and isn't all of our luggage already delivered to our room? Like, wow. Yeah, luggage beat us there. We did. Yeah, it did. Then we went for lunch. We did. And it was in the just the one buffet. And there's kind of, a, we've heard this before from people, there's kind of a pizza and a grill there and kind of American burgers and some pizza. Mm -hmm. We thought maybe that was it. We thought, wow, this is a small area. And then they opened up the doors and the whole buffet opened up. And then that's where the good stuff was. Yeah, true. So yeah, we did that. And I guess when we first came on the ship, first thing we did to get it out of the way, just so you know, you have this little machine, it's like a bank machine. You put your card in there and it links your account to your credit card. So mm -hmm. other cruise lines, you do that before you get on online, sometimes at the port. Sometimes you do it at port, yeah. But yeah, this one, that's, that's how you did that. But we, that was out of the way. Yeah, and then we'll we right away. poked around. We did uh, muster, which was, we had heard bad things. Went pretty smooth. Yeah. Watched a quick five, ten minute video, entered a code in the phone, went down the stairs, and they scanned our card. Done. So that was quick and easy. Yeah. Took minutes. Then we went out, we poked around, found some entertainment at the Haven Lounge, and you might have saw a little bit of that. Oh, we did the sail away before that. Oh, we did sail away party too, yeah. yes. So sail away party up on the aft sea view kind of <laughs> deck 16. <laughs> a lot of the bars and pools have similar names. We're still figuring them out. Yeah, true. So yeah, and then we did the, uh, got ready for dinner, went to the lounge. Dinner was wonderful. Yeah. I had a great first dinner in the main dining room. The staff, the service was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, food was great. And in the middle there, we weren't sure where our table was. or if we, we, were sitting, we were seated at a table for like 10 people, I think. Yeah, even we, though we requested a private table. So we went to the maitre d', talked to the maitre d'. I don't think we filmed that or 
don't think so. But uh, then they moved us to a table for two. That was a little quieter so we could do the filming and show you all the food. Yeah. So that worked out well too. And uh, then we went dinner, went to a show. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal show. I would argue probably the best opening show I've ever seen on a cruise ship. No, you're probably getting tired of me saying, oh, this was the best, the best for entertainment. But this was a really, really good show. They had a little taste of everything, I believe, what we're going to see. But it itself could have been its own show. Yeah, the opening show was really, really well done. Yeah, sure. Really amazing opening show. And so we're looking forward to the, the entertainment for the rest of the trip. A little sad that they won't let us record it. Because I think you would have been impressed too if MSC let it record it and show you what it was all about. So. Yeah, no recording allowed in the main theater. So, yeah. But tomorrow, yeah. I'm excited about this. We are at the private island or Ocean K. Yes. Or Ocean Key, I think. Yes. Uh, I, get, I always get that wrong. It is swimsuit mode, snorkeling mode, and we're going to see what this beautiful private island has to offer. We're looking forward to it. Apparently, your drink package works on the island, which is yeah. a nice bonus. Not all islands do that. Um, and food is included on the island, so there's no having to rush back on the ship. Just have a leisurely day on shore. Yep. Make sure we pack our sunscreen. Yep. And we've heard amazing things about the private island, so... We're anticipating good things tomorrow. We're excited. Thanks for watching and join us tomorrow. And we're having two days in a row with a private island. So that's going to be interesting. We're yeah. going to show you evening on a private island. Not too many times you can see that. Yeah, so. I was just taking a little sneak peek at the, at the itinerary. And there's some fun stuff scheduled for tomorrow evening. So that's great. Okay. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.